Hey, Ghost Nation, Ghost here. Um, I said I was going to do a video on reviewing movies and other stuff. Hold on. So, um, I did a live stream today. Uh, then sat down to watch a movie. I watched Resident Evil. The first ever Resident Evil. Um, because in January, Resident Evil Final Chapter comes out. And basically I'm just rerunning through the, the Resident Evil series because ugh, they're amazing. Um, for the first one, the aesthetics and all the movie sequencing to it is amazing, but the one thing that I'm going to nitpick, and I'm going to nitpick, because most of the movie is amazing, there's two main parts that I'm going to nitpick apart. The first one is the animation and design of whatever the fuck that beast is that comes out of the container. Um, it's a genetic uh, mix for the virus, for the T-virus. And it's amazing and everything, but the animation and the design for it looks so fake, but it gets you every single time you watch the movie. It actually, the scene where he actually comes to the train and breaks into the back, that's what scared me. Um, also, whenever he break, broke open the door. Yes, I do get scared still, but it's not the scared of, oh my god. It's the thing of, I jump, yes, I jump. I'm not the screaming terror person. I'm the person that jumps and then laughs. Because he got scared. But the movie is amazing and it's really good. It's really well balanced and everything. Red Queen animation. Really good. Really good. Uh, I actually didn't. The first time that I saw the movie, I didn't notice all the lines and all the actual detail they put into it, but you can actually see every single layering towards the stuff in. Thank you, not blurry, stay focused. But that actually really is interesting, really intriguing, and it's really, really cool um, to have it like that. Now, the other thing that I'm going to nitpick apart is the speed at which the train was going. That speed, it would have already taken them off the track. And yet, he says, any faster and it's going to run us off the track. No, the speed that you're running is going to take you off the track. You go a little bit faster, <laughs> yeah, you're just fucked. So... Yeah, they basically did not put empathy, or whatever you want to fucking call that word, on how fast they were actually going, because whenever they first started taking off, it looks like they were going almost 115, 120 on a railroad track, whenever uh, actual trains only go 125 miles per hour, but not through tunnels. Through tunnels, they actually slow it down to 100 or even less. And I should not know that, but I do. But throughout that movie, it's awesome. If I actually had to rate it myself, it would be a 4.5 out of a 5. Um, basically, I love the movie. It's awesome. It has good good effect of trying to scare someone um but i'm gonna end this video here subscribe like share
favorite this video, and I'll see y'all in the next video. See ya. Ayo, hey, Ghost Nation, Ghost here. Um, just wanted to do a little bit more. My battery died whenever I was trying to do the video for Resident Evil. And I wanted to put a little bit more in. So the ending of last video, don't listen to. <laughs> oh, actually, the I'm putting these the video, the video that I recorded, and then this video together. So don't do the out, yeah, the outro for the other one wasn't it. Um, basically, I wanted to go more into it of uh, talking about some of my favorite scenes. Um, that kind of stuff. The most, I'd have to say the biggest favorite scene that I have is when she, when Alice throws the X and they think that just shuts off all the power and then the door starts creeping open. And then if we come to find out Oh, yeah, it's that one guy that we thought was going to die. I actually, I forgot his name. I feel like a complete ass now. <laughs> but he is cool and all. Um, I actually like that a lot. Just got done watching the second movie. I'm going to do a review for that later on. <laughs> um, but I actually really like the first one. Um... It's really amazing on how they did everything, and I have respect for them on what they did, how they did it, because they did it by far amazing. Um, there, There's a few things that they could have done better in the first one, but a... You make your first video, you, you usually fuck up a little bit. Yeah, 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 you usually do. Um, but they they didn't fuck up that bad. They actually made a very um, high drast uh, material that was actually really good, really well executed. And um, me as a fan, I actually love the Resident Evil evil movies it actually got me into uh playing zombie games into watching zombie movies into watching the horror movie series and everything else uh so yeah it it was interesting but uh i don't know if i'm gonna be able because the very last one that i have i don't have it up here right now in my actual living room. My mom has it downstairs in a CD case. And I keep all my movies in a CD case. So I have to wait till I can get that one. But back to the movie. Um, th there's a lot of... Uh, stuff that they've actually put together to make that great of a movie. The... Uh, mask that the one dude wore that... His nose wasn't there, and the face was, that was awesome. Um, how they had half of the face of one dude missing, that, that was great, too. Like, they did a really good job with the first movie. It was really good. It was really intelligent. And it actually brought it to the thing of, holy crap, you can actually make this kind of content. And a movie scene by putting makeup on and doing stuff where you actually cover up certain parts. Like, how they actually did that was they actually um, covered up his whole entire nose. Yes, they had it where he could breathe, of course. But he actually had that covered up. But he did have issues. He... Um, he actually did have issues breathing through the mask that was over 
that part because the holes that he was supposed to breathe out of weren't right here. They were actually further up, so he couldn't breathe correctly. Uh, but that that was also that that was really really cool how they did that though. Um, but I'm gonna end this actual video here. Uh, subscribe, share, like, favorite, and leave a movie down in the comments below that you want me to watch and do a review on. I actually may have it on my in my movie library because I have a lot of movies. Don't judge me. I actually. And planning on doing a lot of movie reviews, so get ready for that. Yeah, I'm not happy because I got a shit ton of movies. <sighs> but I'm gonna get. I'm gonna talk to you guys later. I'm gonna get into the mo the next video for number two in the series of Resident Evil. Talk to y'all later.